Let me now tell you about something strange that's happening in a strange part of the world. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has a new headache to deal with. The people there are losing their minds over a serious hair loss problem. That's right. According to reports citing South Korean experts, a growing number of North Korean citizens are dealing with hair loss. And these developments have left experts scratching their heads. Now, the thing is, freedom is hardly a concept in North Korea. The hermit nation maintains a firm grip over the lives of its people, even over their hair, in fact. I know this sounds like a joke, but it's the ugly reality for the people of North Korea. Wait till you hear this. As per reports, in the year 2013, the supreme leader of North Korea introduced a list. What kind of list? A list of haircuts that the people of North Korea are allowed to have. I am not making this up. Reports say there are 18 choices for women, 10 for men. Imagine walking into a salon and not being able to choose exactly what your hair will look like. But then again, the freedom to choose is something that North Koreans can only dream of. It's a strange concept to them. And now they are getting a haircut without having to step into a salon. Well, because they are losing their hair. It's a hair raising phenomenon that experts have not been able to figure out the reason for. And here's what the experts have been saying while speaking to Radio Free Asia. They say that this could be the result of a number of things, maybe infections that lead to hair loss. It could also be happening because of the use of soap and detergent. Let me tell you what one expert, expert has said. Dr. Choi Jeong Hoon is from the Public Policy Research Institute at Seoul's Korea University who, while speaking to RFA, talks about how it's not easy for North Koreans to file mild chemical products. Interestingly, Dr. Hoon was earlier in North Korea and fled to the South. Ahn Kyung Su runs a blog on health news in North Korea and said that many treatments are more like oriental medicines. Interestingly, South Korea has also been dealing with hair loss issues. In fact, the election last year witnessed hair loss becoming an election issue. Again, I'm not making this up. One of the candidates in the election, Lee Jae-myung, had proposed that the government should pay for hair loss treatment. But also, we only know what the South Korean experts are saying. Given how isolated North Korea is, it's difficult to know what's really going on there. Maybe it's the water, maybe it's an infection, who knows. Maybe it's a problem that's here today and gone tomorrow. Or maybe it's a classic case of hair today, bald tomorrow. But if it is an infection, should South Korea be worried? We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.